How is it going everyone? Ever Air Gaming Gear, a brand new Assassin's Creed Let's Play, a Splatoon 3 on the Nintendo Switch and welcome. So this is the um, the, the brand new Splatoon game which I did release today and uh, in case y'all didn't realize because I see a lot of people on friend list but are playing Splatoon 3 but the, now the um, the whole fans just uh, just want to, to wake up really early. Whatever uh, country you live in and whatever you have this game, I mean this is the um the new steep of your level because somehow in splitting two you, you had the save data found which you can go ahead and to uh, import it in uh, to the this uh, game system so the the play time i've been playing is uh is it's hour about 249 and of course so as you can see still i mean my um my best uh, high level was on 54. so did the game will allow you to have splitting to save to your into the, the game where you have split and free so uh, let's go ahead and press on a and let's get right on to it by starting the game up so uh import split into save data important save data will unlock uh, the following bonuses you'll uh, get free uh, gold shells and licenses that that, that you can uh, redeem it for weapons as you can uh, begin playing in uh anarchy battles are earlier than usual to face opponent closer to your skills level right away cool okay well let's do that so save data important after your first online battle. Free uh, gold Sheldon licenses that will be waiting for you in the lobby as a bonus. Uh, Splatfest uh, region the settings. Uh, Splatfest are uh, special events where players are split into three teams to battle it out. Uh, each region that has its own Splatfest including content and event times. Please uh, choose uh, which region the Splatfest that you would like to be a part of. Okay, so we had so he's asking that we had to go and and choose the the region. Okay, we had to play in this uh, region's Splatfest. So note that you cannot change this later, but if you participate in a Splatfest, you will be unable to change for the setting of, for a period of time. Okay, well we can accept that. So do the one that we have. It, so the the Splatfest flat the the Splat best region we have is set is on the Americas slash Australia slash New Zealand all right then so uh, let's uh, see how Splatville is about to look in this whole game well actually we're not in Splatville just yet so we're uh, somewhere in this uh, whole desert is where we are okay but um the, the tip uh, checking the look of it because of these graphics were looking so decent Okay, so we should get there to choose our hairstyle. Awesome. Okay. Well, I don't know what kind of hairstyle I'm gonna go. So we get in here. It's a girl curly hair. Okay, so it just seemed to me because because we're looking at here. It's a uh, one of these uh, girls curl hair. But you know what? We will. We can start on. We can start on the one on the uh, far left. Okay, so we're gonna set that hair color, and my skin color is perfectly fine, just the way it was. And we go ahead and change our eyelids. So my eyelids gonna be, you know what? Uh, yeah, this color is fine. I kind of have, I, I kind of have that eyelid. Okay, and we can go ahead and choose our own design of our hair. Okay, nice. Okay, now we got here is several of these options over here. I mean, like, dang, dude. Well, I, I'm seeing this uh, whole new Splatoon is uh, turning things around a little bit. But uh, I, I kind of love the fact because you can go ahead and change whatever hairstyle you want. Okay, which is felt kind of silly and funny. Okay, well, I just can't go ahead and rotate via inkling. But you know what? I, I kind of like that hair color. But that hairstyle I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using. Okay, so, so let's see what kind of eyebrow do I want? Okay, so these are brows look fine to me. Okay, so we sh can uh, pick our leg wear. So be it. Okay, so what we got here? Okay, so we got here a couple of these shorts and uh, a bunch of these long pants. Okay, you know what? I kind of like this. This leg wear. 
because uh, it, it seems like that we're in it that we're just uh we just want to keep our uh, leg nice and toasty here because uh, we just uh so we just gotta wear lawns legwear so last thing legwear okay wait so what just happened oh yeah yeah so <laughs> i think i just uh, incidentally just pressed on hold on little okay so we got little buddy turn okay so let's see now we have to, to, to choose his look Okay, so we're just choosing. So we got here the mohawk. Oh, you know what? I kind of having that hair. I, I I like that kind of hair. Yeah, I I remember having that kind of hair before. Yeah, so we're all good here. All right, and just the look of this uh, magnificent landscape feature. So it starts flattening, and then we'll need before you hit the crater. Okay, so aim for your, your little. Uh, Small fry buddy. Okay, so so we have to go ahead and tilt the um the controller up and down. Okay, well that's that's uh, kind of like a, a brand new feature to me. So we have to hold steady. Okay, stay forward for the uh, clear sphere. Press the Y to return. I follow that the small fry. Got it. Okay, so now we're uh, following it. So we got Y to reset the camera. So press the ZL to the enter swim form that. That's how you swim through the ink. Okay, got it. Okay. So we just keep following it. So look like uh, your buddies have found something and jump down and check it out. Why, sure thing. So what is this? Ooh, okay. So we each get a weapon. Nice. All right. So we get uh, this uh, splutter shot junior. All right. So we have to go and pop some of these balloons. So press the other black those balloons that was ink. Okay, yeah, so we understand. So I'll pop the balloons out as you go. So you can even uh, swim up walls. Of course you can. Well, I'm not going to keep on reading everything because I know my uh, my own plays of Splatoon 1 and 2 since I played those um those games a while back. So I have uh, finished beating Splatoon 1 on my Wii U a while back. And since uh, New Year, so since 2022... Had uh, finally begun. I have uh, finally done walkthrough the split to three, uh, not for, well, not split to three. I uh, split to two. My, uh, my bad. So I I played those uh, two games a while back since um those. So since since the t split to two released in 2017, I have uh, such a, a huge blast of that game. And let me tell you, I mean that game know how to turn things around a little bit. But uh, I I just kind of love it because they just go and add new inkling characters. Uh, apparently, you get to, in Split to Two somehow. You, you get to, uh, to to tag along with uh, with Pearl and what's her name? Uh, Mar Mar Mariana. Okay, so that's her name. So it seems like training is over now. Okay, so now we are aboard the train. Okay, so it does uh, remind me from the auto expansion when you play the on uh, the DLC of Splitting Two. This this sub, this uh, train that we're we're looking at here, does that uh, kind of remind me of that because uh, it, now as you can see, <laughs> well we're, we're just a uh, chilling, relaxing, just enjoying the on the ride, and so so there's just gonna be like several of these uh, sea creatures on the train. Well, apparently that's uh, what I'm looking at here. Um, okay, very cool stuff. Very cool. Okay, so this uh this gonna take place somewhere in uh Splatville. So this is uh, not even different than Encopolis from the second game. So this here is uh it's like a, a whole new city of, of of a whole new generation. So here we go. So the game showed the tile of split team free. So let's go press the Z L and Z R. Listen up, it's going down. Wrapping the Splatlands, uh, we are deep cut. Hey, here we go. A Ulipus since uh, we jip ink. Hey, 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 Silver Fry and Big Man. Let's see the current battle stages. The drum roll, the butter, 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 bam. Okay, so we're getting here, it's uh, more regular battles. So we're getting some ranked battles. So there's the opti optimal uh, moment to use a special weapon in every turf war battle. Yeah, it's called the exact uh, millisecond of a gauge that fills up. 
uh, clock running out that she's uh, fired up one of the egg baskets and nails it. Game over. Hey, been uh, working on your it froze, uh, have ya? Hey, breaking news, uh, hot off the press. Oh, you got something, big man? Uh, let's hear it. Uh, this was uh, my story to the break that the great Zapfish is, is gone. It's basically a power of the whole city. We need to the back soon or it's a lights out. Time to uh, conserve, turns off the lights and accept the attempt to the cool 90 degrees of Fahrenheit. Hey, that's uh, 32 degrees of Celsius, uh, then it is not cool. Call us uh, if you uh, find the Zapfish. And that is it for now. Hey, let's get out of here. From Splatville, uh, let's, that's a wrap. We'll catch you later. Okay. So, uh, I think I remember because uh, this uh, new reporter was named Silver. And I keep forgetting the um, the the, uh, the lady on the right. So, uh, we're in Splatville now. It's the place that you'll see and uh, be seen. The hottest uh, spot on the map. If you uh, want to make it in this uh, town, you got to be your freshest. And uh, how do you show off uh, your extremely impressive self? Online battles are just uh, hit up the lobby. Seriously, if you uh, start making waves in battles, everyone around here will know your name. Wait, what? Okay, so Captain Colorfish is back. You're new here, and I don't uh, mean to alarm you, but uh, that, that dude is seriously uh, scoping you from the sword. Whatever, it's a uh, fishy, but uh, we'll get to that later. So where were we? All oh, right, battle. Time to sink into the ink. If you want to get right to it, uh, check out uh, the lobby or follow that the weirdo down with the sword. Up to you. Go get him for splat ahead. Okay, so we're not going to compete in online battles right now. So it's so the game is uh it's lean. It's up to you. So as you can see, cause I am I am on level one, so I got a little bit more way to go. Well, no worries. I mean, we'll get right on to uh, battles on the uh, next uh, previous episode uh, while we take on story mode. So uh, I realized because there was just more to the sea because uh, we had to do uh, the, to take the, uh, the die underneath the source just so that we can go and find all the, uh, the zapfish and uh, the great catfish. Okay, I'm seeing Tubbleweed there. Oh, 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 the turns are coming again. Oh, uh, hi. Did you uh, do this uh, once before? The old noggin uh, in uh, what it used to be. Me help in the name of uh, Cuttlefish, a senior advisor to the new Squid Beat that's platoon as your service. I've got the look in your eye. If you are uh, the look I've been uh, looking for, the great Zephyr of that power that Splat Builder has been a squid now. Okay, so what we got? If you are turning again, you can uh, bet that your bottom to send dollars uh, on it. See the great Zapfish that had gone missing before. Twice in fact, the end of those uh, auto jerks that were behind it both times. I've been mean, uh, keeping an eye on them, even though I'm technically retired. And uh, with the eyes of light bees over there, there isn't much of that escapes me. But they still may offer with the great Zapfish. And now we uh, got to get it back, right? So, uh... That was a job offer, kid, but the pay is zero, but uh, you might uh, just save the world. You're right, right? Of course you are. Starting today, uh, you are agent free of the new Squid Beat Splatoon. This is your brand new hero suit that will help you fight the Arterians. Huh? Is there uh, such a thing as uh, something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on, on you. Funny, I don't remember ever washing it at the back. The last uh, agent free was uh, clean as a catfish. Now, let's uh, go and get those uh, other clients, and I'm counting on you. Uh, you already uh, got another agent that there with you, huh? Uh, well, I'm a fresh out of the fuel seats, unfortunately. Uh, but it's uh, a salty uh, little scamper, isn't it? Uh, it'll do fine. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Uh, let's uh, go get those uh, other jerks. Uh, I'm counting on you, bucko. Okay, so here we are in the crater. So, all right, let's uh, look for, for a way into the Arturian base uh, and uh, keep your ears uh, open. All right, so here we are now in this uh, whole landscape of whatever we are. So we go to the, ma to the uh, map. So we're somewhere at the Camp Cuddle. So it's, it seems like we got all four of these 
the stages that we gotta go knock out. So we got one of these uh, savings. The options already saved to our settings. Well, that's something we, we can't go messing with. So let's see what's going on. So mind it for the ooze of that's all over the place. Touch that. Okay, yeah, so we go touch that stuff. All right, I know what happened. Love the instant of full body beard. All right, so let's go ahead and swim over or under. Okay, now that is a one big a pile of fuzzy ooze. I bet a big old bubble on top is a probably the fuzzball. I bet if you uh, pop that, the whole thing that will boof or disappear, but uh, I doubt that your ink will do the trick. Yeah, let's uh, worry about that later. But now, keep on looking for a way into the Arterian base. Okay, well, we can uh, focus on that. Well, actually, let's just test it out just to make sure. Hmm, doesn't it look like the old ink is uh, doing much. Uh, we got anything with the more ooh. Okay, so you know what? We got here. It's this uh, next level coming up. So this is uh, Arterian and the uh, Crater. Yikes. Okay, so did it, now in Split and Free, so you go ahead and... I like pressing the hold of the DL button while you go and enter to stages. Okay, so now we got here several of these uh, balloons in the area. So, uh, okay, so here we are. Here we go, it's the uh, the real deal, Agent Free. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop some one of these boxes open. Take a good look around. You're gonna see something you want to you want to anchor, you press the ZR to the fire away. Gotcha, okay. So, let's go ahead and pop some of these boxes. Remember, okay, now remember you can uh, use the art to look around, think about uh, before you ink, then let's loot. Then let's loot. Heh. If you, uh, if you get the this, uh, com combobulated, uh, you can reset the camera with white. Oh, okay. Now that makes sense. Okay, so there's uh, like uh, a lot of these uh, opening 3D worlds that are going on in here, and whenever we go and exploring stages and. And doing what we we must uh, to accomplish it to the to pop as uh, many balloons or to to the reach to the goal to want to find more hidden hidden area. So it's a scene to me because uh, hold on, so hey, that's the lunch pad. I hop on, hop on, the, and I buckle up. Okay, so we go and pop all of these boxes open. Labo, that was something, wasn't it? Oh, so, okay, yeah. Well, I didn't did not did not get the first time what you just said. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm not some fast reader, you guys. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be a lot quicker than I can because uh, one of these these characters get the dialogue super fast. So wait a minute, what's up here? Is there anything I can go up there? Let's let's go look. Okay, so we're getting here. It's a uh, more of the power eggs, is what they're called. Yeah. So I remember because uh, they used to be uh, hitting power eggs in these crates. So during the story mode, because uh, somehow there's like more of these are uh, hardest and easy obstacles to solve. Uh, look, like that uh, you found a splat switch. Go ahead, splat it, and uh, see what happens. Okay, so we go move this way. Okay, so we pick up here's armor. So you, you, ah, so, uh, oh, you found armor. Uh, look at the fair way crater and dreaming. Okay, maybe your small fry buddy can help. All right, so let's go press some R. So we press R, and our small fry can go ahead and break crates for you. Okay, nice. Hey, look at you go. Alright, so there you see there's another splash switch that we can start by activating. Try to splash it just so. Uh, aim carefully with uh, the, the, the pointer in the middle of your screen. Gotcha. Alright, so let's start by popping some of these balloons up. So this uh, looked like a, a fun ride to be popping balloons. So uh, another job uh, for your small fry buddy. Okay, so I think we, we get the rest. So we go press and hold the R button. To start by throwing the small fry, and then the small fry can go ahead and wreck the, the crate for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and tough through. Alright, so we can start by swimming up to the surface if we wanted to. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, let's just get a move on. So we just activate three of the squishes, so now the zap fish is close nearby. Yeah! the trooper ahead. It's a real lit. It's a it's a real live enemy. Get ready to splat it with the ZR agent free. Okay, so real quick before you engage, and when you uh, the going gets tougher, the uh, tougher hides behind walls. No shame in it. Um. Okay. Well, let's do that. Giddy up. Uh, that's the, that was a splat tastic. You you telling me? I mean, <laughs> that was a basically a, a splat tastic idea you were ever come up with. But, but okay, well, uh, cuttlefish. I mean, your 
your expressions are making perfect sense to me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So that's a zapfish. Inca up in a forest field until it's a person and then a bird to home. Okay, so you know what? So the quickest way to defeat the zapfish is just to go and throw your small fry. Um, okay, that looks pretty dope there. It's, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the, the graphics uh, look, look so reliable. Just the way how they just go and change the environment. Well done, Ichi Freya. You remind me of a young color fish uh, hero heroically uh, saving the day. Anyway, the good news is that you got a zapfish. Uh, there is a uh, source of energy on their own. But uh, the better news is that the great zapfish uh, may be up ahead. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying a great catfish. It was a great zapfish. Okay, well, I thought it would look exactly like a, a, a catfish to me. To be honest, I mean, uh, let's see now. All oh, right, a, a plumber forget about all the, 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 the fuzzy ooze. Uh, okay, so you you mean forgot about the uh, the the place of fuzzy ooze? Okay, that's what you mean. And that the blasted fuzzy ball is uh, just uh, wobbling our uh, back and uh, forth, but touching us. If that's that you're a small fry buddy you're chirping uh, about something, you know that species is a rumor to the, have a big reaction to power eggs. So anything that will worth a shot, right? Try pressing R to the power up of your little buddy with some power eggs. Okay, so we're pressing R. So whoa, that's that did something. Try throwing it at the fudge at the fudge ball. Okay then. Look at that, it's a gobble up in the oozer like it was nothing. That little monster has a quiet appetite. Well, yeah, he definitely is a, a, a quiet, a, a sturdy little guy to be eating ooze. So anyway, it's a clear, to, anyway, it's a clear to path for you. Go on. Okay then, so let's go ahead and flat our way down this hill as we proceed. So look at another football, let's try again. Okay, well, let's do that. So we go press the, tap the R stick and then tap on R at top. So it seems like it's the uh, small fry can go ahead and eat the other uh, football. So let's go again. But I don't know how much uh, power is we're going to be wasting as um in, in case that we're not using him so much. So look at where the rats will go. Think there's uh, something worth checking out nearby? Well, yes, hold on, hold on. So it only cost 300. So your little buddy needs more power than than you have. Okay, so you know what? Um, let's see now. So this new. Okay, it definitely is. So sink it to the end and swim. All right, so let's go tucking over but under. And also, while we go ahead and beat the uh, second story, so we'll go ahead and move on back to Splatfail and try to see if we can uh, compete in an online before we're ending off this episode. Alright, so this says sink it to the ink and swim. Alright, so let's get right into it. So we're getting here, it's a couple of these up power so now that's our time to squirt after it. Press the DL to the blooper into the ink and start swimming. So remember you can uh, jump with B. Yeah, so um, I kind of get the idea already. And now as you guys can see, because we're getting here, it's a couple of these onion rings that make a return in the second game. So we go ahead and jump through the rain. So it uh, seems like because uh, we just uh, just jump through the um, the circle of rain. Hey, those are dash traps uh, up ahead. Uh, diving onto one and uh, you'll go flying. Oh, nice. Okay. So where exactly are we going this time? So let me go on this uh, this treadmill. Okay. Well, I used to call them like treadmill. To, to be honest, I mean somehow it just uh, go ahead and. And like track your uh, prediction to whatever, wh whatever you, you're doing. I mean, somehow you just uh, go ahead and increase up a little of your speed so that you can just go and uh, flying over to optical. That's uh, something I'm seeing here. So it seems kind of quiet, though, because we're not witnessing to the spot any more enemies activity. So hold on. So now that we saw, because uh, there's gonna be auto troopers. So uh, let's see. Are we supposed to 100% get everything around here? Okay, so I want to keep a lookout for those uh, sucking scrolls. I mean, that's uh, the most important thing that we got to do. So we got to keep a lookout for sucking scrolls in this game. And this whole new generation of Splatoon 3. I mean, we just uh, got to keep an eye out. Alright, so let's uh, keep having a look. So I want to go ahead and tour around first. 
because I, I know because I've heard just um, a lot to it because I wanted to try to see if we can 100% get everything. Well, I've done it before when I was playing Splatoon 3 the other day. I'm uh, not Splatoon 3, uh, Splatoon 2, my bad. So Splatoon 2, I YouTube 100% gotten all these fucking scrolls and uh, including the one which is called the uh, sod Sodium. It's uh, how I'm saying it right. But uh, speaking of which, well, there's uh, nothing uh, hiding in those uh, purple ooze. What, what, whoa, whoa, what the? Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Um, okay, well, fine. Let's just keep going. Okay, so you know what? I'll just leave that there alive. Okay, so we can just keep on jumping. And also, I don't want to miss this opportunity because I want to check to see what's above here. Okay, so that is going to lead to Zapfish. Alright, now let's go ahead and fly upward. Okay, well, that, I mean, that looked like a fun ride, I can't lie. I mean, will we find any more stuck in scrolls around here? I mean, let's go have a look. I mean, we just I gotta keep looking, so... So let's go find out. Um, okay then, so you know what? Okay, so I did fail. But uh, can we, like, find any uh, sunken scroll in 100%? I mean, don't give me any wrong ideas. I mean, there had to be something that we could do to 100% this game. So uh, I'll go around and scatter hunt to get all these orbs and we'll we'll go ahead and set this zap fish free so it just seems to me but still i mean we can set so we can set free at least uh, as many zap fish as possible okay well this uh, seems like like fun stuff here nicely done agent free but the devil's artillery looks uh, different but you used to be a little more smooth if my memory serves uh, hey i didn't uh, want to judge a deadly a tentacle creature by his cover more power to him uh, but uh, not really. Anyhow, as long as you're, you're sporting the that hero suit, you can uh, stand up into to any Arterium beard or, or not. Uh, did you uh, even uh, read via the label? Here, I'll do it for you. The wearing via lace in uh, apocalyptic survival fashion, uh, avoid the enemies and navigate via flatlands and via style with your own high inner sensor, dry clean only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle test or rule of the battlefield. Um, okay, well, I'll do keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got 691. That's how much or uh, power is that we collected so far. So we go talk to Cuttlefish. That footy ooze is, is trouble. Uh, okay, hold on. You got more to say? Okay, so if you're ever feeling this, um... You really know what you're doing out there, don't you? Making me look like a genie for recruiting you. Okay, so it seems like because of the dialogue go and skip a lot, a little bit, a lot faster to me. So uh, let's do this. So I want to go and return back to Splatfield. So uh, there's uh, one more thing that we got to go check out first. And it's somewhere back at the lobby where we go ahead and then compete Turf War with the online players. Because there's uh, like a lot to do around here in Splatfell. So uh, we go ahead and move on top of it. But dang. I mean like this uh, city looks so huge in Splatfell. I can't lie. And it seemed like that, that the people that had the game did like uh, draw their own their own thoughts of what they know something about splitting free. Welcome to the lobby. It's your uh, portal to online battles and where you stash uh, all your gear. As you splat forth in online battles, you'll level up and earn cash to boot. Uh, why level up and get cash? So uh, you could ask every in a uh, four via, via the freshest gear in Splatfield. And the some battle modes that are restricted to players at a higher level too. So I uh, get that level up. Uh, first thing first, uh, why don't you uh, check out via the battle pot uh, over there and uh, select a regular battle. That'll get you into a turf war battle. Your team will have three minutes into uh, the ink of the most turf. Ah, uh, let's uh, check out more flat. Uh, let's get started. Okay, Nintendo community guidelines apply to online play and, and that can be found on your on our website. Uh, please be considerate to your fellow players. Okay, you know what? We're not going to talk about that right now. So, we're going to get right on into the uh, to the pot of that machine. Okay, so it kind of does remind me of the, the, blend, the, the blender much. 
So it's a thing like that I can't go in and do rank battle while I'm on level 10. Okay, so we got private battle. Okay, so we have to try regular battle first. So we're gonna try turf war. All right, so let's get to the gear. So it's a scene like, like uh, as you we uh, check to see, cause it's just uh, waiting for uh, more players to come to the match all over the world. So now it's battle time. Okay, so which means because we don't have to go and like uh, wait until until the, the game and take that to where we saw each of the players online that uh, have, that that did come to the uh, lobby. Okay, well let's go have some fun with this. Okay, so as you can see here, because uh, we are playing in a turf war and it's a brand new mechanic around here and it's, it's a whole battlefield. Alright, so let's go ahead and confront the battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and like splat everything. So we have to go beat the purple team. Or as we call them, Team Ooze. Whichever we call them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place this. Okay, so that is my uh, my beacon sensor. So I go ahead and align to, to chat down whichever, whichever enemy they came. Okay, so this guy just took me out. Okay, <laughs> well that it, that seems about right. I mean, no worries. I'll I'll get tracer later, maybe. Okay, so hold on. So I can go press on the R to to launch the an inkling to whoever is so whoever inkling is going. I mean, we just are going and launch the inkling back to the uh, to the battle. Okay, so uh, I have not take out one player at a time. So uh, let let's see now. I can go be stealthy about it. Okay, I did not hit the player. Okay, but I can throw this platform. Okay, I think I got one. Cool. Oh, okay, this guy is super quick. Okay, so I got beat up by Tone. Alright. But it's a scene to me because uh, you can go ahead and work to somebody instead of just uh, using this. Uh, this cannon launcher. Okay, but I tried, dudes. I tried. I mean, this guy is too quick for me. Okay, well, no wonder I'm playing. I'm playing this uh, controller underneath. So let, let's just hope we win our first time of uh, battle. Because um, these are people know a lot of stuff about splitting free. I mean, somehow they're actually getting well, pretty good at this game. Alright, so I just took out the other guy, so I'm gonna place a, a beacon over there. Okay, so some guy is about to come in warp. I already took care of that. Okay, I already took care of you, and uh, I got low battery. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well, don't don't mind me. I mean, I have uh, not even tried my controller recently, so... Okay, I got it in the perfect timing. That, dang, that's a bonus kill there. Oh shoot, I was so close. Well played, Tracer. Well played. Alright then, so uh, let's go ahead and work to somebody. So I think we're, we're almost about to win. Okay, so our first time of winning. So uh, let's uh, let's just give it our stuff. So hopefully we get the level a lot faster when, when, when we're on level 1. Okay, well it's a little like we got a lot to learn in, in, around here in, uh, in Splatville and get to the no better or like uh, the learning to the to check to see what what brand new weapon that we that we can uh, look to see well eventually whenever we find this uh weapon oh hold on let's uh, look at the results for did we win okay so we get 52.3 percent okay so that's cool all right well i like in this um this new animation there because it looks quite changeable i i do love how they go ahead and change the whole environment just to the to the tail because the visa graphics are looking at quite uh, quite good in this whole new generation splatoon okay i am waiting all right Woo! so uh that's uh, what battles are like hey did you happen to notice a house some of your opponents that uh, had cool looking name dis display those are called flat tags uh, and are very fully uh, customiz customizable to show off of your personality wait Hmm, it looked like uh, you might have a bit of older data on your splat, splat tat. Let's just see if we, we can uh, get that shirt out. Um, okay, so we got the one that's called the uh, Anarchy Battle, which is happening a lot. So we joined one up from the uh, Battle Pot. 
So we get here, it's a free Sheldon, gold Sheldon licenses. Okay, so we bring V to the MO Knight to, to get new weapons. Sweet. Okay, so now you now you just need to register a new nickname and you'll be all set. So you gotta show up in the style to your next battle. Hit the other lobby terminal and uh, set a nickname, okay? Uh, what do you want to call yourself? Uh, you can uh, change this later. Oh, okay, well, ever I add, it's just gonna be my full name as uh, my nickname. Okay, yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, hit okay. And. Hey, uh, you level up, congrats. Do you know that uh, you can uh, use the, uh, the Sheldon Lances? You can got uh, on shiny new weapons? Well, you can. Head to the square and check out MO Knights. Happy shopping. Okay, man. You know what, you guys? I do believe that's going to have to do it. So next time on Splatoon 3, we got uh, a lot to go on around here in Splatfield. Because we're going to check in with the um with the Holy Knight or the MO Knight. So uh, we'll go check that there and check to see if we can like uh like look into the scene what kind of weapons are available and i would go ahead and talk to this uh, cat over here so i would go get advice me out make sure you visit ammo nights after you level up they uh, might uh, have new stuff in stock meow leveling up or earns you a shelter license i wish i will let you buy even more weapons well that was a splendid idea i have ever heard well you know what, you guys we're going to have to stop this, this episode right about here. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time to uh, tune in and uh, watching this brand new episode of Splatoon Free. So, if you're enjoying the series so far, hit up that advertiser like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you have uh, already subscribed to my channel, please do ring that notification bell so that you'll be staying up there notified when my news and awesome videos up at your way. So, just making sure you guys are staying tuned in. And by all means, all the Eastern Water V description are filled down below. So, if you'd like to help support the series, you can do so. Review them step by step. Just to help get you started on support my channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for Splatoon 3. We'll be picking up more on the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.